Hi everybody and welcome to What's in the Box. Today we are going to be having a look at scurvy dice from our good buddies over at Firelock Games. This is a fun little dice game that the guys have created. So on the front we can see our captain in some beautiful artwork and flipping around to the back you can see a bit of a game layout if I flip it the right way up. So we've got our game board, we've got some ships in here, we've got our dice. So this is one of those games that I always think is great for a travel game because I, I love dice games, you can play it on a very small surface area. Now first thing we get in our box is this really nice fabric game board map. So down the bottom here you can see the different phases of the game and along here you can see some of the different islands from the game map. Now, the important thing is, you've got Para Island here, this is where you're going to lay your treasure. This is the start where all your ships are going to go. And I believe, where is the Isla de, Isla, Ilse de Muerta? I believe is the one I'm looking for. Ah, here it is. So this is where we're going to put our scurvy dice. Now, uh, the game itself is super simple. It's a dice rolling game between you and your friends. So, you get a big baggie of custom dice. Now, you're each going to get 10 of these and you're going to use them to build your ship. The dice themselves have quite a few faces on them. So, you've got the little sword, that's for your crew. You've got the little ship symbol, that can act as either your seals or your hull. You've got the pirate symbol, that's a wild. You've got your cannons, and we all know what cannons do, they go boom and make a mess. So let me quickly get 10 dice together here, and I will show you very quickly how to build a ship in this game. So, we roll our dice at the beginning of the round, and the way we do this is, all of these can be used as either hull, or as seals. So I think I'll go for three hull, three seals. We've then got our cannons and our crew and our parts go on top. Now at this stage you can take the part and turn it into anything you like. Me, I always like cannons so I would turn this into another cannon and then I would keep the other part. Now, you can turn the part into something else if you like, or you can keep it to change during other phases of the game. So it's basically how adaptable is your crew. Now, during the round, if I get another one here, let's say I've got a four hull with one seal, one cannon, one of those, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's say there's a pirate on there, they've got some extra crew, and that's my opponent's ship. During the game, you're going to be determining who is quickest. Whoever has the most seal is quickest, and that lets you go first. So whenever you would come to the shooting phase, you would get to shoot first, and then your opponent would get to shoot back if you haven't taken out their cannons. Then you come to a boarding phase where whoever's quickest can try and chase them down. So you start rolling these uh, seal dice to actually see do you catch up and start boarding. Now, one of the key things you're after in this game is treasure. And in the treasure, it is based on dice as well. So, these little skull and crossbones you do not want. These are scurvy. Uh, basically, bad stuff happens to you. But you do have gold. You have one gold, two gold, and three gold on the faces of the dice. And to determine how many treasure dice you're rolling in your game, you're going to take three, plus say we had two more players, and that determines how you're many of these you're rolling. Uh, you got a little scurvy and plenty of loot there. Now, uh, depending on how quick you are, that's also going to determine how quickly you get to Para Island to actually start grabbing some treasure. And depending on how many crew you have, that determines how much treasure you can grab at a time. But you can never take more treasure than you have hull in your ship. So there's a really nice tactical dynamic in this game of what way do I build my ship? What way do I refit my ship? And speaking of ships, we have some here. These come as a nice little HDF laser cut component. They come in two parts to begin with. So you've got your little bases here and you've got four different types of ship. And whenever you put your base on, they will just stand up like so on the game board. Last things we get in the box. We obviously get our rules, right? This rule set is super small and super quick to learn. So it's basically two sides of an A4 sheet for you to actually learn to play this game. Super quick, super fun. The last thing is whenever you're more comfortable with the game, we have these. 
So these are your legendary pirate cards. Say you want to spice things up, you can have captains that are beginning to give you some special abilities. So let's say we went with Blackbeard. Uh, he's got for Blood and Plunder, Cannon Phase Activation. Steal one dice from each ship you hit this phase. Set aside these dice until the refit phase. You may roll these di stolen dice and add them to your ship during the refit phase. Once a new treasure hunt begins, return the dice to the original players. That is really, really cool because it means your opponent, instead of having 10, 10 dice, is maybe having 9 dice and you're maybe rocking out with 13. So I guess you're building the Queen Anne's Revenge. Uh, you've got some other ones in here. Jean Corso, or John Corso, or Juan Corso. Uh, finding the Golden Monkey. Scoring phase activation. Move one additional space forward for each treasure dice you buried this round. That's cool. And there's quite a few of these, and they can really just add some great flavor. Uh, Johnny Bones. Let's see what Johnny Bone does. Uh, the dead cannot die. Reroll your destroyed crew dice after a melee battle. Add any crew or pirate results back into your ship's crew. That's cool. So you could run an undead crew in this game. Uh, some really gorgeous artwork in here as well. That's everything you get in the box. Uh, it's a fun game. I'm going to try and get Mike from Firelock on camera to actually get a game of this at some point. So stay tuned. Drop your comments in below. Tell me what you think. Is this one for you? I'll move on. I'll see you again soon. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.